Today we're going to talk about Austin Kendall's blocked transfer to West Virginia. What that means for Oklahoma and Austin Kendall, and all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time, and today we're going to talk about. Austin Kendall's blocked transfer to West Virginia by Lincoln Riley. Now, the way that this works is the transfer portal was supposed to be a tool to prevent coaches from doing exactly this, blocking a transfer because you had to talk to the coach to get permission to talk to the player, and many coaches said no. Famously, Bill Snyder said no 38 times on one kid that wanted to transfer to 38 different schools. Now, this has worked for the most part for everybody from Tate Martell, who ends up at Miami, to Justin Fields, who ends up at Ohio State, and to Jalen Hurts, who ends up at Oklahoma. But also, none of those dudes at least ended up transferring within the conference. And it seems that Lincoln Riley took umbrage to Austin Kendall wanting to transfer to West Virginia, or at the very least, wanting to talk about transferring to West Virginia, where Neil Brown is the head coach. Now, there's a lot of different reasons for why this could occur. Number one is it's within the rules and it's legal because the Big 12 still has a rule that allows for coaches to block transfer. Now, we thought that they had done away with it, but it turns out the rule was you cannot block an in-conference transfer for a walk-on. You'll know this as the Baker Mayfield rule, which they said, hey, you can now not transfer those. But now we have another issue, which is that a dude that has an undergraduate degree who would ostensibly be able to play right away because of NCAA rules is being prevented from transferring to West Virginia. A lot of this has to do with the moving pieces of a situation at quarterback that Lincoln Riley quite honestly wasn't sure about until today, which means that, look, Jalen Hurts wanted to go somewhere, but the kid was being very quiet about whether it was going to be Maryland or Oklahoma as Tate Martell jumped to Miami, kind of removing that as an option, even though I don't expect Tate Martell to be eligible to play in 2019. However, if he did decide for whatever reason to go to Maryland, you don't want to lose Austin Kendall anyway, right? But if you can prevent him from talking to people, you'll prevent him from talking to people. You can't prevent him from talking to Auburn, which is where he has visited and where I expect the kid to go and where I think he'll have a very good opportunity to play. But it just seemed foul because you're Lincoln Riley. Because your last two quarterbacks that you've had start for you are Heisman winners, and you have Tanner Mordecai on campus, and you have Spencer Rattler coming in, and we know what Lincoln can do with this offense. Now, I can't really come up with a good reason other than to say that he wanted to CYA, which I get and I understand because you're the head coach and it's a business and kids get caught up in the business, but it's also one of the reasons why I'm a player advocate is because there's so few opportunities for a kid to flex, and whenever they do... Bad things sometimes happen, like getting blocked for the transfer to West Virginia, and everybody I speak to about Austin Kendall is, they hate Oklahoma. And why not? I mean, he was recruited in 2016. He was rated more highly than Jalen Hurts in the 24-7 composite. Jalen Hurts got to play, and he got to prove that he can. Austin Kendall's a dude that has been able to play for a while now. Hasn't got an opportunity because he's played behind two Heisman Trophy quarterbacks, he recruited Chris Robinson at 2017 to beat him out. That didn't work, so he thought he'd have a shot. Then you get Kyler Murray on campus to beat him out. And the dude just hasn't had an opportunity. And 2019 was supposed to be his year. And then you said, no, nah, actually, I want Jalen Hurts. It's just a raw deal all the way around. And I am terribly sympathetic to Austin Kendall in this because no matter how this turns out, because it could just as easily be that by the time this video drops that Lincoln Riley decides to go to Austin Kendall and say, if you want to go to West Virginia or you want to go talk to him, go talk to him now that we have our quarterback. But you wouldn't want him to do that in the first place. You would want him to be the bigger dude, except most head coaches get into positions where they don't want to be the bigger dude, and they get to flex, so they flex, which is what a lot of people do. You don't see a lot of people just being altruistic in college football. That said, Lincoln Riley has been an excellent head coach. He's made all the right decisions. He put together an outstanding staff that can recruit. I think they'll be able to develop the talent that's on hand, too. But we'll just have to wait and see. I did want to lay all this out for folks that wanted to know what was going on and how it worked, though. All right, that's it for me. Deuces. <laughs>